Material Editor. In 3ds Max, we have two common material editors. They are the Slate Material Editor and the Compact Material Editor. Uh, you can use either one of these uh, to modify or create new existing materials and maps to the model in our scene. The Slate Material Editor uses nodes in wiring to graphically display the design of our materials of our scene. The Compact Material Editor is a very easy, more stripped down version of the Slate Material Editor. We can find these by going up to, to rendering and going to material editor. And first I'll go to the slate uh, material editor. And the slate material editor is, um, like I said, a, a material editor in which we use various nodes and wiring to graphically display our uh, materials in our scene. And uh, if we go to rendering, and we go to materials editor and we go to compact material editor we end up with a more stripped down version of it uh, a more user friendly uh, easier to use one a material editor uh, likewise we can get these in other locations too if we come over here into our uh, menu bar here we have a material editor uh, button here and I have a down arrow and I can pick between the two different styles. So I'll pick on the compact material editor here. So across the top we have a menu bar. In here we have different options we can choose. Then down here we have what's called sample slots. These sample slots are used to preview the material uh, that are assigned. Uh, right now we can see six of them, but if I slide this down, you can see I can get uh, up to 24 of these sample slots. And if I pick on one of them, you'll see that particular one is highlighted with a white border around it. And so you can tell which one is the active slot. If I had to right click on it, you can see that I have a 3 by 2 sample window. I can change this to say uh, 5 by 3 and now I have a different and I can also right click and go to 6 by 4 and so you can change your sample slot. I like bigger so I can see it better but it, your uh, choice here. Uh, also when I'm right clicking in one of these slots I can do drag and copy. Well I can drag a particular uh, material onto another slot. So what I'm going to come down here is I'm just going to pick in this slot here and I'm going to slide my hue and my saturation all the way over to red. I'm going to change my value to in about 175 zone, make a nice red out of this. And so now you can see I have a red sample here. And by right clicking you can see I can drag and copies by default turned on which means I can hold my left mouse button down drag it over to another slot and let go and it'll make a copy of that material into the third slot here alright so we have the same slot same type of material in both of them now sometimes it's very hard for you to see the effects of the material what the real material is going to look like in your machine um, scene when it's this small so if I right click and I go to magnify it brings out its own floatable um, box here and uh, I can actually size this thing to any size I want I can move it around and it's going to automatically update any uh, any changes we make to my materials will update here so I can see it better and that allows me then to uh, have a very good visual what my material is going to look like so uh, this is known as my material editor and I can get that either up here or I can go to my rendering come down to my material editor and I'm at the moment choosing the compact material editor and I could also um, use my slate material editor as well so this is the material editor in 3ds max